hello dear students in this lecture of database management system we will see the concept of good relational database designing so how we can decide that whether a given database designing is good or not it is decided by looking at the features of some good relational database designing the goal of relational database designing is to use generate is to generate a set of relational schemas that allows us to store information without unnecessary redundancy yet also allows us to retrieve the information easily so very first condition for good designing is to remove the redundancy but you have to keep in mind while removing the redundancy we retrieve the information easily without any loss so for achieving this we have we can decompose the data set sorry we can decompose the relation the decomposition can be lossless decomposition and the next is normalization so what exactly the decomposition is now for example one table or relation is given here in the relation we can see that there are three employees working in computer science department which are indicated by underline so the names are cats shrinivasan and bant so these three employees are working in computer science department computer science department is located at building taylor and the budget of computer science department is 1 lakh rupees but we can notice that here we have to repeat the department information that is building and budget once for each instructor in the table in the department for example the information about computer science department with building tailor and budget is 1 lakh is included in the tuple of instructors cats shrinivasan and band so it is important that all these tuples agrees to the budget amount since otherwise our original database in the is in the inconsistent state so whenever you want to combine or whenever you want to decompose the given relation we have to remember that after entering the value once it should not be repeated in the resultant tables after decomposition now let us see how to decompose the database the only way to avoid the repetition of information problem in the in department schema is to decompose it decompose it into two schemas but while we decompose it into two schemas there may be some problems so what type of problem is there let us see one example here we have one employee relation having fields id name street city and salary we can we can decompose this employee table into two relations employee one with id and name fields and employee two with name street city and salary now let us see what is the drawback if we decompose the relation into these types of two tables each person would have unique employee id which is why id can serve as a primary key as an example let us assume two employees both name is kim work at university and have the following tuples in the relation on schema employee in the original database designing so in original design we have his id then name then street city and then salary now if we decompose this relation as shown in the given diagram like the entire employee table can be decomposed into employee 1 and employee 2 in employee 1 we have id and name and in employee 2 we have name street city and salary so as we see in the figure the two original tuples appear in the result along with two new tuples that incorrectly mix the data values pertaining to two employees named kim so here if we join this two divided table or decompose table into one table we get the information which is wrong information for example 57766 kim is staying 
at street main and perige but here in the sec after natural join in the second row we can see that the employee kim with the id 57766 is staying at north and hampton city so as per the given table it is wrong information although we have more tuples we can actually have less information and the information is lost here because we are not getting the correct information of the employees so this is the drawback of decomposition of the table in next lecture we will see how this lossy information whenever we have this type of information what things we have to remember so that our database is in the lossless condition thank you for listening